Hello and welcome back to Hello. Seattle Coffee Gears Coffee Collaboration. Today we're doing uh, uh, we're doing a special recipe um, suggested by a special request with our special guest, Allie. Hello. This is Allie. Allie's awesome. And this is Clementine. This is Clementine. And we are both with Seattle we Coffee Gear. We work here. So, <laughs> so uh, we're going to be drinking some coffee in front of your face in a couple of short minutes, right, Allie? Oh, yes. Sure are. Um, and we're going to be making it also in front of you. So here's what we're going to do. In order to create this espresso martini, this recipe comes straight to you from Allie's brain, by the way. From up here. So, from right up inside Allie's brain. Um, what you need to do, here's what you need to have. Step number one, you've got to have a grinder, and yep. you've got to have an espresso machine. Yep. You've got to have a mixing thingy yep. for your alcohol. Um, the ingredients that you're going to need. This we're actually going to use as a garnish, and you're going to be surprised by how cool of a garnish it actually can be. Mm. Okay, and then um, we're going to do two shots of espresso. Mm -hmm. We're going to do uh, half an ounce per cup of uh, coffee. Per serving. Per serving. Sorry. Of <laughs> half a... Half an ounce. Jesus. Okay. Half an ounce. <laughs> Half an ounce per serving of coffee liqueur. Yep. Half an ounce per serving of simple syrup. Yep. Um, and then we're going to do uh, four whopping ounces of vodka. But that's because we're making two. We're making two. So it's technically for two. And then, um, so it's two ounces of vodka per cup. Uh, serving. Yep. Per serving. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> per cup. I was thinking like, you know, a measuring cup, just like drink. A measuring cup mm -hmm. of oh, martini. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yep. it's going to be good. Yeah, um, it is going to be good. I'm excited. Would you like to add the ingredients? Yeah, okay. All right. We're going to start with the vodka. Toss it on in there. Oops, moved a bit. That's all right. Mm -hmm. There's all right. plenty to there go around. There's plenty. <laughs> okay. And then I will toss in the other two if you want to prep a shot for me. All right. Um, so, you can do this with as much coffee or as little coffee as you like, but I think we both like it with a little bit more coffee. So we're gonna do um, four ounces of espresso total. So two pulls or two shots. We are using the uh, Izzo VV, which is a heat exchanger. So I'm kind of letting the group bleed off a little bit so it cools down. There we go. Thank you for measuring that out for me, Clementine. Mm -hmm. Adding in my coffee liqueur and my simple syrup. Beautiful. And we are ready to pull our shot. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So the coffee we are using today is Kickapoo Infrared. Kickapoo Infrared, yeah. So and that's a dark roast. Mm -hmm. um, which we were interested in uh, adding to this specific recipe to pull out some of the chocolate flavors. Yes. And that's uh, another thing I think you could probably try out is maybe substituting the simple syrup for some chocolate. I think that would be good. Our first shot. Here you are. Awesome. Add it in for me. Add that in. Please. Wipe it out the porta filter, make sure no leftover used coffee is there. Beautiful. Can I have another one, please? Absolutely. Colors are looking pretty good. Nice. Cool. And this kind of times it out for you, and we've already kind of checked the measurement, so we kind of know that it's perfect. So I'm not even going to measure it. So risky. So, so bold. risky. <laughs> Living life on the edge. Perfect. Thank you. Um, and the and a drink like this is pretty good to serve at a. Did you take my shot glass? I did. It' pretty good to serve at like a dinner party or something like that. We're going to be entertaining because um, it's not only interesting, but it's like visually appealing um, and it lets you show off your equipment. Beautiful. Just 
espresso is looking mighty tasty. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is going to be pretty full. Yeah, it is. And then, would you do me the honors of shaking this beverage? Absolutely. So exciting. Extremely. All right. Go for it. All right. Add that lid and shake her up till she's... Wow! <laughs> till she's nice and foamy, please. I feel like it could be messy, so this is a... I might want to hold this part. It could fly off again. <laughs> could be potentially hazardous. Could be. More. 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 <laughs> See? God. More. Ah. All right. All right. Ah. Now you're getting there. Now you're getting Perfect. Uh, maybe a little bit more. So usually, see, it's kind of got some foam going on right now, but what you're looking for is for it to all to be foamy. So big, strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit more difficult to do with two drinks in here. Wow. But would you like to try again, or do you think this is pretty foamy enough? I'd like to put my hand in, into it and do try, it. try it again. I love it. The more you shake it, the more vigorous it is, the more foamy it'll be, which can be nice visually and kind of, um, you know, make a little bit of foam at the top. Beautiful. Go ahead and pour that in here for me. All right. And then I'll get us some glasses so we can. This will be our visually interesting glass. Nice. All the foam stays. <laughs> Give it a little bit more shake and then try to get the last little bit of foam. Okay. Oh. There you go. See? That's what I'm talking about. That's a good shake. There you go. Boom. Whoa. Whoa. Super foam. Cool. Foam. There you go. Okay. Love it. Now we garnish with three beans. Don't fall. You. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Let's get ourselves a little taster too. I feel like a bartender out there can give us some tips on our shaking method. So if you're a bartender, leave us comments on how we can get the perfect amount of foam on here. Perfect. All right, ready? Yep. One, two. Three. Oops. <laughs> Oops. One, two. Those weren't meant to be the garnish. Those weren't good enough. Yes. Three beans. Three beans. And cheers. Let's test it out. Ooh. Ooh. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's really good. Your face didn't say that it was delicious. It is. It's really good. It is smooth, smooth, and it's kind of got like a caramel. It really flavor. does. Like yeah. the, the caramel is just like it, I mean, you wouldn't expect it. We didn't put anything in that's specifically caramel, but it really but it's comes that through. Coffee liqueur, you think? Yeah, it's good though. It's really good. Yep, delicious. Yes. I would definitely recommend trying it out and giving us tips on what kind of things you like in yours. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Are your teeth Coffee okay? <laughs> Eating the garnish. There you go. So, edible garnish. Caffeine? Right? Yep. Let us know what you think. <laughs> thanks for joining us today. We've had a real time. So, thanks for joining us. Um, all right. <laughs> Don't forget to like. Don't forget to like. Subscribe. Comment. And subscribe. And, um, yep. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we liked having you here, and we love coffee, so, you know, let's keep it going. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. a lot, everyone. Bye. Have a fantastic day. Cheers.